Good morning, dear parents. A very warm welcome to everyone present here. Before we proceed our, uh, our parent induction, I would request all parents to please rise for a national anthem because at Vodar Prayer we start all our events with national anthem. First of all, I would like to congratulate each one of you that now uh, we and you are working together to nurture our children. Before, uh, before I take it further, I would like to introduce my teachers. I hope you all know my name. No. So my name is Manmeet Kaur Tripathi. I am a senior headmistress at Podar Prep Pavai branch. And I also have headmistress. Her name is Miss Priyanka Roy Chaudhary. She is on leave today. Uh, you can meet her anytime. If you have any concern, you can uh, connect with her also and to me also and with class teachers also. So I am going to just uh, introduce my teachers level wise. So nursery A, I have a teacher, her name is Miss Sakshi Chawan and a co-teacher Miss Manju Paul. Nursery A. Nursery B, Miss Shrija Pai. Nursery C, Miss Komal Kadav, Junior KG A, Miss Katha Joyce, with co-teacher Miss Himali Surve. Junior KG B, Miss Unati Punjani, with co-teacher Miss Priyanka Amraska. Junior KG C, Miss Priscilla Alexander. Junior KG D, Miss Vishali Surana. With co teacher, Miss Preeti Panda. Junior KG E, Miss Thirty Shah. Senior KG A, Miss Shraddha Puya. With co teacher, Miss Bula. Senior KG B, Miss Darshana Panchal. With co teacher, Miss Tanuja Bhatt. Sine KG C, Miss Sabina Ali Anil. Sine KG D, Miss Hina Parekh. With co teacher, Miss Priya Singh. Sine KG E, Miss Prasishana. So, this is my lovely team at Podar Prep Pavai. Every day when we start our day, we start it with teacher's creed. So we are going to say teacher's creed right away. Teacher's creed at education. The only ego I will think of is the self-esteem of my students. The only problems I will worry about are the mass problems to teach in class. Creativity will be my keyword, dedication my quest. Safety and security of the children in my care will be my goal. In a classroom, I will always look and care for the individual in every child. But in the staff room, it's not about the individual, but the team spirit that I will see. Children first will be my motto and such a positive period of education, I will lead generation next. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much. Thank you, teachers. We also have an admin team. So I will be sharing their detail also like email IDs, their contact number. So in case you have any concern in regard to that particular department, you can reach them out. So I have uh, right now admin officer, assistant admin officer, Miss Priyanka Gargi. Priyanka ma'am, please come. So this is my admin team. So in case you are facing any problem, with regard to uniform, with regard to admission kit. So Priyanka, she is Priyanka, she will always be helping you. So I will be sharing, I, ha I think I have already shared her email ID with all the parents, okay? But I will be again repeating the same. Thank you so much dear parents. Uh, we also have a counsellor, her name is Ms. Shreya Shetty. Uh, so uh, she is a counsellor. Uh, in case any parent, because we do observation for each and every child and in case we feel that there is something which needs to be uh, conveyed to the parent, so uh, Shreya is always there to help you out. Streaming 
ahead with Kodak Prep is the theme for this year parent induction. I would request um, 30 teachers to please play uh, Dr. Swati uh, Popatwat's video for comprehensive detail of our parent induction. So this year the theme is Tuning Ahead with Kodak Prep. Namaskar, dear parents. I am Dr. Swati Popatwats. You all know me as the director of Podar Prep. I am also the chief academic officer and the president of Podar Education Network. We are almost going to be 25 years of Podar Prep, which means we were Podar Jumbo Kids before and now Podar Prep. And we have really embraced Podar Prep to ensure that you and your child, your children get the best because we prepare your child for life. Streaming ahead with Podar Prep is the theme of this year's parent induction. Stream. It's very, very important that when we put children in a school, whether it's a preschool, a primary school, a secondary school, all parents have a goal. They want their children to learn. They want their children to grow. And they want their children to have a career that they can be happy in. And that's why at Podar Prep, we have embraced STREAM. STREAM stands for science, technology, reading, writing, engineering, art, and maths. Look at the combination. Every profession that children in the future will take up will have something or the other from stream. So by giving stream education to your children, we are ensuring that your children are prepared for life. What does stream stand for? For us, the S stands for symphonics and safety. We have the world's best curriculum when it comes to language and literacy. It's called symphonics. It follows a format of uh, listening, speaking, reading, writing, because that's how language develops. For most children who come to our schools, English is not their first language. English is their second language. And that's why the way we teach them the English language has to be done developmentally appropriately. And that's what we do with symphonics. So much of that material comes home to parents and they can do it with children because we believe in parent partnership. Safety. Maslow's hierarchy of needs or the panchakosha as given in the national education policy stresses on safety as the first need. Brain research says safety is the first need. Because if I, as a child, feel safe, then my brain will work. And we ensure children's safety completely at our Podar Prep centers. And we urge you parents, we have a lot of safety guidelines for parents. How you can drop your child, how you need to sign when you pick up your child, how you have to wear the smart card, etc. Please support us in our safety endeavors. Because our ultimate goal is not to trouble you, but to ensure that your child does not go through trouble because of lack of safety standards. I'm sure when you go around the center, you will see so much of safety in place. Go through the passport and in that you will see our safety standards in place. So S in stream in this induction stands for symphonics and safety. Let's talk about the T. T always stands for technology in stream and at Podar Prep it stands for technology and coding. Yes, you heard me right. Coding in the early years. But don't get afraid, we don't do coding on the computer. No, we want to keep children as much away from screens as possible and we give them balance of screen and real education. Coding that we do at Podar Prep is hands-on. We use Froebel's gifts. Froebel was the father of kindergarten. He invented kindergarten. And that is why we use the gifts, that means the blocks that he developed 
to teach children about coding. Now you may ask me, why coding for such young children? Well, let me give you an example. We talk about things like algorithm, debugging, etc. in coding. And you'll say that those are big words. What does it have to got to do with our little children? Well, what's an algorithm? An algorithm are steps that a coder puts. You as a mother or a father, you also teach children a lot of new things in steps. When you are trying to teach them how to brush their teeth, you ask them take the toothbrush, open the toothpaste, put it on the toothbrush. What are these? These are steps. That's an algorithm. Debugging. When we find mistakes, this is not to be put here. This sock doesn't match with this. Tumare kapde yahane waha rakne chahiye. What is this? This is finding an error and rectifying it. So for us at Podar Prep, if you go through all our posters, etc., and you attend our kid education huddles, which are meant for parents, you will realize coding is actually teaching my child life skills, literacy, and numeracy. For us, technology and coding is very important because technology and coding is the future. Now with AI, what is the future of children? It's going to be surrounded with AI. So we want your child to get that foundation in technology and coding, which teaches them balance. That let's not give so much importance to digital technology and coding that we forget about playing outside, that we forget about playing with friends, that we forget about talking to each other. That's the balance we believe in at Podar Prep. So S, T, now let's come to R. R stands for repetition, reverence and routine. A lot of things need to be repeatedly told to children because their brain connections are still forming. So you need to repeat things again and again for it to become ingrained in their brains. So don't say to your child, Kitni bar bolna padta hai? How many times do I have to tell you? Why are you not learning? Every time, try to teach it in a different manner because that's what we do in our classrooms. A concept is done maybe three, four times with children, but each time it is done in a different manner. Sometimes with a song, sometimes with a story, sometimes with a worksheet, sometimes with drama. That's repetition. Reverence. Reverence is the ability to be mindful, to relax, to meditate, to think about. And we do a reverence with your children every day at the end of the day. It comes from Rudolf Steiner's philosophy. What is reverence? Reverence means helping the children understand what did they do in the day. So that when they come home and you ask them, Aaj school mein kya kiya? they won't say, Pata nahi. Ya khele. They may remember what they have gone through in reverence and tell you about it. But don't expect children to always tell you things. Sometimes when you ask school mein kya kiya, they might also say kuch nahi. And that should not scare you that oh my god I'm paying fees kuch nahi kiya. That's just children's way because they have done so much in school that they don't know how to put it in that one sentence answer for you. Routine. Routines are extremely important. And at Podar Perep, we are very strict with our parents also. Please put your child in a correct routine. Now your child has started coming to school. Routine is a must. They must sleep on time. They must get up on time. They must go to potty on time. Very, very important. Because otherwise, Half the time when they are in school, their time goes in the toilet and they are missing out on important things in the classroom. Ensure that children fall into a routine that's going to help them in their future career. Imagine that your child is now working in a corporate and there is an important meeting, but your child's potty time from childhood, you had conditioned to be at one o'clock and the child is now in a corporate job in the potty and missing out on important meetings. 
would you want that? So it's very important that you get that body routine of children in place. As soon as they get up, they go to potty. After that, they brush their teeth, have their food, have a bath, dress up, and are ready for school on time. And they can only do this if you put them to sleep on time. We follow a very strict routine at Podar Prep, and we want parents also to, to do that because that is very good for your children. Remember, we prepare your child for life. What does the E in stream stand for us at Podar Prep? Of course, it stands for engineering, but it also stands for us for emotional development and engaging activities. I would urge all parents, read up on Eric Erickson. He is the father of emotional development. We must take care of our children's emotions. हम ये नहीं कह सकते हैं बच्चों को all the time कि रोना बंद करो क्यों रो रहे हो If a child is crying, something is troubling them. And we have so many tools developed for you. Please join our social media pages. We have made videos for you to understand children's emotional development, why they behave the way they behave. So we are there for you as your partners. But you will have to join us in this journey to make your child's emotional health stronger and happier. Engaging activities. When you come for the kid education huddle, which is when we call parents to come to the school and take part in all the activities, aapko pata chalega ke sari activities kitne interesting hote hain. Most parents feel ke jitne worksheets doge, jitni books doge, utna bachcha seekh raha hai. Mm -hmm. Today's children learn more from playing games. It's not that we don't do worksheets and books. You must have seen the admission kit. Kaafi cheeze hain. But hum yaha bhi keep a balance. Books bhi hai, worksheets bhi hai. Lekin aisi aisi activities hai that will keep children engaged because an engaged brain is a learning brain. So that's what we aim to achieve with the E of stream. Now let's come to the A of stream. And for us, A stands for art. We are exposing your children to art from around the world. Come and see our puzzles and games in our classrooms. They are all from Madhubani art, Gond art, Varli art. We are also using and Henri Matisse art forms, Van Gogh, all these art forms. Your children are going to be exposed to art because earth without art is just air. So art is very important in your children's lives. But we also focus on the amygdala and achievement. What is amygdala? Amygdala is this little part in your child's brain. It's got one part here, one part here. All of us have it. And it's the most important part because it is in charge of our emotions. If you stress children out too much, if you threaten children too much, if you shout at them too much, if you compare them too much, if you bore them too much, the amygdala shuts down the brain. And that is when children stop listening to you. So next time you feel mera bachcha meri baat nahi sunta hai, uska matlab hai amygdala ko kuch hua hai aur usne brain ko band kar diya hai. And now when the brain is shut, the child will only show you three things. Fight, flight and freeze. Fight means they want to, uh, they, they shout back at you, they start screaming and they start answering back. They start throwing a tantrum on the floor. Flight means they want to run away from the situation. They don't want to look at you. They don't want to eat. They don't want to talk to you. Freeze means you ask them a question and they, they're not able to answer. If you see these three behaviors in your child, it means the amygdala has shut down the brain. Now to open that brain again, you will just have to calm down 
you will have to take a breath tell the child to take a breath or start singing to your child or just take their attention to something else and that's what our teachers are trained in imagine having so many children in the classroom and handling everybody's amygdala to handle others amygdala we have to keep our amygdala calm so that's what you need to do to understand the amygdala achievement we celebrate children's achievements because agar bachcho ke achievement ko celebrate nahi karenge to kya ho kya karenge hum the more children feel valued the more confident they become but that doesn't mean ke khamo kha unko praise karte raho ha ah, well done superb no give them concrete feedback ye bahut acha kiya aapne agli baar na aap isko thoda kam time mein karna start celebrating their achievements talk about their positive before you criticize them because children are growing to understand themselves self esteem is very important at this age and the last one is called m what does m stand for for us m of course stands for math we have the world's best curriculum called number magic and we ensure that your children get the best in foundational numeracy but we also focus on your child's memory because memory is something that's going to help your child in future and that's why we use songs stories and games abhi aap puchoge songs stories and games ka memory ke sath kya lena dena hai well let me tell you the first part of the brain that develops is the right side and the right side of the brain is in charge of long term memory agar aapko apne bacche ko kuch bhi yaad rakhwana hai for long to right side brain mein jana chahiye and the right brain only learns through songs stories and games that's why your child's teacher uses songs stories and games in the classroom ab pata chala ki hum khelte kyu hai classroom mein it's not just to pass time it's not just because the toys look interesting it's all to do with your child's brain development right side ko develop karo right side ko khush karo to the right side remembers things for life and music very important that there should be music and we ensure that at podar prep all our songs all our activities are fun for children and do you know we have done away with all these boring old song ye humpty dumpty sat on a wall humpty dumpty had a great fall and all the king's horses and all the king's men could not put humpty together again we have removed songs like this because imagine humpty dumpty gir gaya उसका पूरा सब कुछ टूट गया अब उसको कोई जोड़ नहीं पाएगा एंड वी आर आस्किंग चिल्ड्रन टू बी हैप्पी अबाउट इट सो वीव चेंज सॉन्ग्स लाइक दिस टू हम्पटी डम्पटी सैट ऑन अ वॉल हम्पटी डम्पटी डिड नॉट हैव अ फॉल ही न्यू हाउ टू बी केयरफुल ही न्यू हाउ टू प्ले एंड दैट इज वाई ही इज इन वन पीस टू डे दैट्स वॉट वी डू टू ऑल सॉन्ग्स म्यूजिक ना वाई डू वी हैव म्यूजिक इन पोदार प्रेप ये भी पूछोगे आप कि म्यूजिक क्यों है स्कूल में राइम्स क्यों है अगेन वी हैव अ लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द ब्रेन वी हैव अ राइट साइड ऑफ द ब्रेन व्हेन बोथ ब्रेन्स कनेक्ट होल ब्रेन लर्निंग हैपेंस व्हेन यू सिंग सॉन्ग्स टू चिल्ड्रन लेफ्ट साइड अंडरस्टैंड्स द वर्ड्स राइट साइड अंडरस्टैंड्स द रिदम सो व्हेन यू सिंग टू चिल्ड्रन लेफ्ट एंड राइट कम टूगेदर फॉर होल ब्रेन लर्निंग अब पता चला पुराने जमाने में माँ बाप गाते क्यों थे बच्चों को इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज थिंग्स एंड फ्रेंड्स वी बिलीव इन द नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ऑफ दिस कंट्री एंड वी सेलिब्रेट इट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट पंच कोश द फाइव फोल्ड डेवलपमेंट वी आर इंश्योरिंग इट फॉर योर चाइल्ड panchadi the steps of learning we are ensuring it for your child we also have a 
report card, which is not called a report card. It is called a holistic progress card. We call you to come for a portfolio. We want the teacher and you to understand how the child is growing and how to help this child grow. We ensure that your children are taken care of by the best in education. And that's why we are NEP 2020 compliant. Go through all our posters, activities, information in the passport to become a Podar Prep parent. Why should you become a Podar Prep parent? Because together we can prepare your child for life. All the best, dear parents. I wish you and your child of the very best of the coming year. Thank you. Basically a triangle. Uh, Dharti teacher, could you please play this video of Swati ma'am? Education at Podar Prep is S3, the trikona, which is stream, spiral, and stories. Most important aspects of our curriculum. STREAM stands for science, technology, reading, engineering, arts and math. Now when we talk about reading, we are not only talking about reading, we are also talking about literacy and new, uh, literacy means reading, writing, everything comes together. So S stands for science, T stands for technology, R stands for reading, E stands for engineering, A stands for art and M stands for mathematics. Our curriculum in every aspect helps children become stream powered, which means every activity that we do is either connected to science or connected to technology. We have coding, uh, uh, we have a strong reading program. Engineering, when children build things, when children create things, it's actually engineering. So it's very, very important to understand that we have ensured that children have a thinking brain because of the stream aspect in the curriculum. Now let's come to the other two very important aspects, spiral and stories. What is the spiral curriculum? Usually uh, when we have, when we do uh, themes, it's, it's a common practice in all preschools. It was there in Jumbo Kids also. Every month there would be a different theme. Like for example, there would be uh, uh, insects. So this whole month you are doing only insects. Then you are doing only animals in the next month. In a spiral curriculum, you don't do that. Your curriculum may have in that month animals, birds, insects, a lot of different topics because when children go out in the world they don't only see insects because you are teaching insects in schools they see around them vehicles birds animals everything around them so a spiral topic basically tells takes the children through different combination of topics every month and if those topics are repeated the next month then a little more complexity is brought in those topics so if i learned about um, animals in this month uh, about uh, their names next month i may learn about what is the female called what is the male called in the third month i may learn about their babies about their food habits etc so a spiral means you start with the smallest point and then you as a spiral moves you expand the knowledge and their knowledge of the children about that topic stories why stories because stories engage children's brains stories take children from the known to the unknown stories help them connect emotionally they get connected to the character and through a story we then take them to the next level so that is how our curriculum has been formulated we start with stories we ensure that the topics that we take out from the story are becoming the theme of the month and we then go into a spiral which means the topic that we take for a particular month we take the basic information first then we take the more complex information and that's how the whole curriculum is weaved 
and also we give it a stream angle. So it's a very robust curriculum, uh, a curriculum for the first time that has these aspects of stream, spiral and stories. Admission kit. I hope most of my parents have already purchased admission kit. Yes or no? Yes. No? Okay, yes. So I can hear, you know, most of the parents have already purchased admission kit. However, I'm going to give you detail so that you can uh, further understand about the same. So the Podar uh, prep admission kit comprises of two important component. One is school kit and another one is home kit. So now uh, I hope uh, parents, those who have already received uh, admission kit, you must have received uh, admission kit letter, which will help you to understand about the components which you have to uh, keep at your home and the component which you have to uh, submit to the respective class teacher. So this is a letter which you must have received in admission kit. So admission kit of nursery. So these are the components because uh, the letter also have all the components mentioned. So it is very easy for you to bifurcate the same and uh, hand over the uh, home uh, admission kit, school admission kit to respective level teacher. UNAKG admission kit and then is senior kg admission kit if you have not purchased your parent i request you to purchase admission kit you can uh, i have sent an uh, elaborated email also which says that in case you wanted to uh, purchase admission kit and uh, address you can give school address also because then it becomes easier for teachers to immediately take and uh, hand over home kit to you so for admission kit packing detail uh, Dhati teacher, could you please uh, play the video? So this will help you to understand how uh, shop for school dot in they uh, work and how they bifurcate to co two components. Hi, today we will see how you will receive your parcel after placing an order. This is part A of your order. Now you can see part A of your order is being packed. So your part A of your order is packed. This is part B of your order. You can see part B of your order is being packed. Your part B is, is now packed. You will receive two boxes of your order, part A and part B. You might receive two boxes on two different dates. Thank you. So part A and part B. So part A is mostly the uh, articles which you have to keep at your home that comprises of uh, a school bag, passport and uh, a red pouch which later you have to hand it over to class teachers. So uh, as I mentioned that uh, jumbo kit bag, jumbo bag is also a part of home kit. It's a part A which is a part of home kit. So your child admission kit, this jumbo bag comes with a uh, home kit, okay, which you have to keep at your place. And this is a very comfortable bag. Uh, on daily basis, you have to send this bag. It is compulsory that the child should come with jumbo bag because that gives belongingness to the child. So it is important, dear parent. And uh, most of the time, uh, parents ask me, is it compulsory that we should come with 
uh, we should purchase uh, this jumbo bag. I would like to mention that this is a part of admission kit. So it comes along with the admission kit. You don't have to uh, place a separate order for the same. Okay. However, it is important that the child should come with bag. As, a, as an adult, we also like to carry our bags. Yes or no? Yes. So then comes passport. Uh, dear parents, I will be taking a question and answer session once I complete. I request you that once I complete, after that you can ask me a question. So this part, uh, again, passport present in the admission kit is also part of home kit or uh, school kit? Home kit. Home kit. Okay. So education passport is again an effective uh, way to communicate with teacher. Okay. And for teachers also it's an effective way to communicate with parents. So it's a handy diary which comprises of all the system and all the policies. I request all the parents, if you will go through passport, you will find most of the policies will be clear to you. Okay. But in case you feel that after uh, reading a passport, you still have queries, we are always there. Then another important aspect is book club book pouch. So uh, book club book are a fantastic way of building reading skills in the children. So every child will receive a book club book so that they can read the same with you at home. So we will be sending you a detailed circular in regard to book club book also which will come every Friday to you and then you have to return the same on every Monday. Then number magic home play kit. So as we know that we have a mathematics program which is called as number magic. We all know existing parents, they all know and my new parents, new inquiries, they are also well aware I hope because we have taken inquiry and that time we have given it, you a detail uh, in regard to the program we do. So uh, number magic home play kit is again important because we believe in continuity. So whatever the child is studying at school, so we want that they should also do the same thing at home. So for that continuity, we have a number magic home play kit. So this basically comprises of you will be getting jumbo home play activity book in that. So the activity to be done at home will be shared by teachers. They will be sharing the same to you via loop learning because we have a communication, uh, communication portal which is called as loop learning. I will let you know about the same. So again, second point which is very important that you will support the child in doing number magic activity using the number magic home play kit based on the steps which is given in the activity sheet. So you will be receiving activity worksheet. The steps are already mentioned in the same. However, we request you just uh, sit with your child for doing that activity in a play way manner. Another important uh, aspect of this home play activity kit is the activities given in a home play kit are extended version of whatever fun as I mentioned that we believe in continuity. So whatever activities they are doing at school, they will be doing the same in home also. So that they can recapitulate, they can revise. Another, uh, we will be sending you a hyperlink posters with demonstrated videos to understand how the number magic activity needs to be done at home. So we will be sharing hyperlink poster with you. So this is a sample of hyperlink poster which you will be receiving from our end. This is number magic home play kit for nursery, number magic home play kit for junior kg and number magic home play kit for senior kg. Okay. So we will also be taking a parent induction which will be virtual, okay, so that you can understand about the number magic home play kit and how to do activities. So for that I will be uh, sharing the date soon. Then uh, we have added an important uh, aspect uh, recently which is interactive learning app with uh, games at home. My existing parent, they already know about. so. They are rather, uh, I'm getting a very positive feedback on the same also because these are the activities which we have tailored, which we have customized considering our seven domains. So uh, this is an app basically which uh, helps in development of our seven important
important skills which are communication and language development then which are personal social and emotional development and then we have language development mathematics development understanding my world so all the aspects which they are studying at school so uh, these activities are similarly tailored so then the activities every monday to friday you will be receiving how many activities three activities okay with uh, on a app itself so we will be giving you uh, you have to register so for that also i will be taking an virtual uh, induction which will be uh, which will help my new parents to understand about the interactive games then these games are seamlessly designed considering foundational literacy and numeracy at ncf 2022 national curriculum framework 2022 then comes the games will help children to revisit whatever they are learning in terms of numbers in terms of literacy in terms of understanding my world and other aspects of the curriculum so for this what you have to do to download the app so you will get this app on both android also and ios also i will be sending you detailed circular i will be taking a virtual induction for the same however the first step is that you have to download the app okay so we will be providing the link also then you have to enter your primary mobile number which you have registered with us okay so only that number you have to use and then you will be receiving an otp on your mobile enter that to get access to interactive games daily assignment for your child okay so this also you will be receiving uh, soon circular and also we will be taking virtual induction then comes jumbo home play activity book for nursery okay so there are certain jumbo activity books that you will keep at home for children to do worksheet and once these are the perforated worksheet so you can tear and once the child have completed the activity you can send it so that the teacher can correct it another important aspect if it's drawing then we request you to please do not send the same then uh, these are the important forms which you have to fill and which you have to hand it over to uh, respective class teachers on very first day so these forms are one is all about me form then is allergy form social media form and permission for medical help so these forms are already present in your in your admission kit the only thing is that you need to take it out you need to fill and you need to hand it over to the respective class teacher on a very first day now why allergy form is required because see if your child uh, is going through any <coughs> allergy it is important for us also to know the same so that we can help immediately child in our care if needs any you know during any urgent time then comes social media form dear parents we are on uh, various platform like we have facebook we have instagram we have youtube page so for that also when we do activities on daily basis we upload certain video uh, certain photographs also sometimes videos also but we need to take permission your permission because that is important for us whether you want us to upload your child photograph or not if you are not comfortable we will never pressurize you so medical help form again it is important that if the child has any uh any medical concern then you need to uh, fill the form apart from that sometimes it happens that the kids are playing and the child might get hurt so it is important for us that you should give us permission that we can take the child to the uh, tie up hospital in case it is required on urgency basis so this i have already mentioned then comes uniform and other accessories which you need to order so you can order uniforms from our website which is shopforschool.in apart from that we also have a uh, vendor okay so you can purchase the same from meena bookstore which is nearby the address of the same is already sent to all the parents in the email so t-shirt sweatshirt which is common for both the girls and boys okay cycling shorts for girls these are the accessories which you can choose however floaters you need to buy rest of the accessories is compuls uh, not compulsory okay then how to order so for that also i have sent a detailed email to you so 
you have to go to first shopperschool.in then after that you have to choose territory after territory you have to choose Bodar International School CBSC Pawai and then you will go to the main page and from there you can go to pre-primary section you can place order. There are certain important procedures at Bodar Prep which we abide and we request your support also because ultimately it is about safety and security of each and every child in our care. Okay. So we have sign in and sign out procedure for parents. My existing parents, they are already aware of the same. Okay. For new parents, I just wanted to uh, inform you that during sign in, when teacher will be taking your signature that if you are a walk-in parent and you are dropping your child, we request you please do not talk to teacher that time. It's a humble request. Because what happened that time teacher should focus on children. Then if the teacher is talking to you that time, then there can be a safety lapse. We don't want that. So it's a humble request for uh, to each and every parent that during sign in and sign, in, uh, sign out time, please do not talk to teacher. Yes, if you have any concern which you want to address on, you know, priority, I'm always there. Miss Priyanka is always there. Apart from that, you can always take appointment with the teacher so that the teacher should be available on the time when you are. That time she should not be in the class. Once she is out of the class, that time you can always meet. So this is how we do our sign in and sign out. Then we have a smart card. So this smart card will also come in admission kit. Okay. So it is also a part of home kit. So what you have to uh, do dear parent, on daily basis you have to bring this smart card. Okay. This card will be stamped by us on very first day. So if you have already purchased your uh, admission kit, then please bring smart card on a very first day. We will be doing stamping. So what you have to do, you have to fix four photographs of... Uh, as per, you know, your uh, coming and dropping the child. So if you are a, a parent who are daily, so for example, if the mother is coming on daily basis, okay, so her uh, photo should be first and then after that father or grandparents, okay, so as per your coming and drop, picking and dropping uh, of the child, you have to fix the photograph and then it should be stamped from the school itself, which is compulsory. And uh, dear parent, if you will not bring smart card and will not show smart card to teacher, so might be the teacher will not hand, hand it over to you, your child. Okay, considering the fact that on, uh, on daily basis you are coming and dropping. She knows you, but then also sh she is not going to give you your child. Okay, then you have to give us proof and you have to write that time an application. For After that only we will be approving the same. However, I am requesting you to please bring smart card on daily basis. Okay. This is a greeting ritual which we do at uh, Pudar Prep every day. I, I, I can see your smile that, you know, in spite of knowing that it's your child, we are not going to give you. <laughs> so this is a greeting ritual which we follow at Pudar Prep. Okay. We give them choice so that they can choose the same. They can wave, they can do namaste, they can give high five to teachers so it depends upon them how they wanted to come uh, in the classroom okay then we have uh, deposit your loud voice and deposit your running feet okay so you will be seeing that on all our doors these posters are there okay on daily basis the teacher will tell them to deposit their loud voice and running feet then snack menu so this is basically a snack menu which I am going to share with all my parents. However, this is just a sample. This is just for your reference. We are not saying you to use the same on daily basis. However, it is important that the child should bring healthy food. Okay. So if you are a Maharashtrian parent and at your place, Poha is healthy food. We are okay with that. But we, uh, we don't want you to send any junk. Fries, okay, the noodles. So these are junk for us, uh, pastries, chocolates. So you can refer to the same and we will be sending. Also dear parent, uh, we are not against non-vegetarian. Okay. However, because right now we are catering to the children who don't understand the difference between veg and non-veg. 
So for us, it is safer that we should respect the sentiments of each and every parent, each and every child also. So for that, what you have to do? We only, uh, uh, you know, at Pudar, we only take veg, okay, men. So you can send any vegetarian, but even not eggs are allowed. So some, sometimes parents, they say that eggs are a part of vegetarian. Nowadays, we consider eggs as uh, vegetarian, but we request that eggs are also not allowed at Pudar. We have a unique birthday uh, policy, which is based on Maria Montessori concept. Here again, we don't uh, allow any distribution of toffees, any distribution of chocolates, only whole fruit. And we request parents that they should also come and celebrate the child's birthday in the class that particular day. Because then, uh, you know, for children, it's a special day. And they want their parents to be with them on that particular day. Then we have a loop learning app. So dear parent, for this, I have already uh, shared a detailed mail again. I will be revisiting the step you have to do. So loop learning is basically a communication portal. For new parents, you will be getting username and password. I have mentioned the email. If you have not received a username and password, then we have an accountant. Okay, his name is Mr. Rahul. I have given you email ID of uh, his Okay, so what you have to do, you have to write him that you have not received any username. Username you will be receiving for between us. But login you have to do it in uh, loop learning and this is not an app. So it's a, uh, you have to directly enter uh, through website and then you will enter username and password. You will be, uh, uh, you will be doing uh, various details, updating various details in regard to the same. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to update the photograph, you have to update the entire detail of yours and on daily basis because that is important for us because we will be generating ID cards soon. Okay, so if you will update all the details timely, you will be getting ID card timely. Okay, apart from that, uh, all the communication will be through loop learning. So sometime it happened, the parent asked me, uh, do we have any WhatsApp group? We do not have any WhatsApp group. The only communication portal we have is loop learning. We have is a little louder. Thank you so much. So this is how you can fill your child's detail, ID card detail. Okay, how you can update their photograph. So you have to log in first to loop learning. Okay. Then you will click on the right side of dashboard. Then click on profile. You can update the child's photograph and the profile. Take a recent photograph of the child. Okay, sometime what happened? Uh, two month picture is uploaded. So for us, it becomes difficult to, you know, that time recognize, uh, you know, the child. So it is important for you to take a recent picture, prefer, uh, preferably in school uniform. Okay. And then update your ID card details under edit student ID card detail and emergency detail panel. So you can also perform the above step by hovering your mouse pointer on the profile picture icon on the dashboard above your school name. Then daily schedule. So this is a daily schedule which we do at Pudar. Okay. However, we are going to take a elaborative session which is called as education huddle with parents which is uh, most probably on 27th. I have already sent the detail about the same. I request all parents because it's a, uh, for new parents specifically, it's a uh, first, you know, education huddle. You need to attend it mandatory. It is compulsory for you to please attend education huddle because that will give you insight of what the teacher is doing in the classroom, okay? So this is how we do a greeting time, then we have daily five, then we have play, explore and learn, clean up time, circle time, transition, understanding my world, then again transition, snack menu, transition, then we have one day literacy, another day we have numeracy, then again we have transition, active exploration and sometimes coding, then we have transition and last is reverence. For junior KG and senior KG, so this is how our day looks like. I will be sending you detail, okay? And uh, this uh, right now uh, induction, we will be uploading 
induction on our YouTube channel and I will be sharing the link of the same. In case if anything is missed, you can check on the same. So this also I will be sending you. This is Pudar Prep Curriculum. Then Rhymes and Song. So this also I will be, we have a channel for Rhymes and Song. So this also, uh, proper content library link also I will be sharing with all the parents so that you can go through the same on daily basis. So level wise links will also be shared with you. Then bus children timing and schedule. So we are going to open for nursery on 2nd April. Okay. And uh, for new parents, it is compulsory, uh, compulsory that they should attend uh, school with the child. Okay. For 2 hours. Okay. And you have to travel with your child for 2 days in a bus. If you are comfortable. If not, then it's up to you. Then a second day also, 3rd April, which is again 2 hours, then you have to travel. On 3rd day onwards, you don't have to travel in a bus. Okay. Then June KG, first day from first day, you don't have to travel with your child in a bus. Okay. This is only applicable for nursery. So uh, once we will be, I will be finishing the parent induction. Okay. After that, uh, Mrs. Suraj is sitting opposite to this uh, room. Okay. You can check if you have any queries in regard to bus or the route. And his email ID is also mentioned here. Then school opening dates, nursery, we are going to open 2nd April, okay. And again, uh, school working hours for nursery, first day will be 2 hours. Second day also will be 2 hours, okay. You have, if you want, if you wish, you have to be with your child in the classroom. Or if you want, if you are comfortable, you can sit in another room. We will arrange the room for your sitting. Then uh, nursery, third day, it will be complete batch-wise timing, okay. For 2 days, it will be 2 hours. However, from third day onwards, it will be complete school timing. Then junior KG uh, and senior KG are going to open from 4th April, okay. And uh, we don't require, you know, any bifurcation of the timing. So, we are going to open as per the batch timing, okay. So, this slide I am going to share with you all parents, okay, via loop learning also and via email also. This will help you to understand about uh, if you need any clarity in terms of, so for example, you uh, have any queries which is in regard to transport. So, the department is transport and you can connect to regional transport manager, Mr. Sanjay Patil and you can connect to senior transport officer, Mr. Suraj. So, transport uh, contact detail, both the details are mentioned which I am going to share with you all. Then we have security related, if you have any security related queries, Mr. Sami is there. So, you can connect with him. Then fee related, username, password and loop learning issues, uh, username specifically, accountant, Mr. Rahul Borade, his email ID also I will be sharing with you. So, loop learning, for loop learning we have Mr. Devend Rajdev, okay, Devendra Rajdev, sorry. So, his email ID is it.devendra.podar.org. If you have any concern, if you are not able to log into loop learning or you are facing any issues in regard to loop learning, then you have to connect with Mr. Devendra. Then uniform and admission related query, Ms. Priyanka Gadge uh, is there. If you are facing any issue in, you know, ordering or anything, okay, so you can connect with her. Then uh, the, uh, it's a request, whenever you are writing to any department, please mark me in the loop, okay, and my... HM also. So, both the email IDs I will be sharing. So, this slide I am going to share with all the parents so that you should have a, a ready reckoner in case of any concerns in regard to any department. Thank you so much dear parents. Dear parents, I would like to express my gratitude for all those who made the event possible today. First and foremost, I would like to thank the entire Podar management and our trustees for always supporting Podar Prep. A big thank you to our trustees, Dr. Pavan Podar, Mr. Gaurav Podar and Mr. Harsh Podar who are always there to guide and support us. We thank our director, Dr. Swati Popatwas for flowing new ideas and always standing by our side at the time of implementation. She is a true missionary and her thoughts are always different, child friendly and of course excellent. We thank 
our general manager, Ms. Farida Lokhanwala, for her guidance and most importantly, being there for us always. I also thank our team of mentors for ensuring that this center is the best example of education. A special thanks to our general manager of Podar International School, Pawai and Thane, Mr. Ganesh Shinde, and his ever-supporting admin and IT team, Mr. Ravi Sani and his security team, and ACP, Mr. Sanjay Patil, and his transport team for supporting us in all possible manners. We thank the entire staff, we thank the entire teachers and supporting staff for working together and showing a good team spirit. Thank you so much to your parents. In case you have any further queries,